Hey everyone, Zephyr here, and welcome to another episode of my Sims 2 Legacy Challenge. So where we left off, Eric's sons actually graduated university, so now our founder is gonna be kind of put on the back burner because we have a new Legacy heir. Kind of looks disappointed. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> Last episode, I was like kind of debating maybe making a new house for them, but I changed my mind and I don't know how long that's been like that, but um, we're going to fix it. Okay. Anyway, I changed my mind. Instead, I decided to move Hunter into the garage. So this is his little setup. He has his like childhood game system and chair and television in here. Eric allowed him to make a little kitchenette area and he has a nice little bed, a mirror, a little exercise machine because he wants to be a athlete. Um, I thought it was kind of funny to have Hunter move into the garage because one, uh, he hit rock bottom when he was a child, so I feel like him immediately moving back into his parents' house makes sense. He's a little bit of a mess, okay? Uh, but the thing is, he's a romance sim. And romance sims are probably gonna want to bring some dates over to the house. And honestly, we already kind of have a full house situation happening right here. He doesn't want to, like, bring in dates when he has basically, like, four parents, uh, you know inhabiting his space with him. So I'm imagining that Eric was like, you know what, you, you can move into the garage. But the only thing is, if Hunter wants to use the bathroom, he has to go into the main house. So he is not entirely independent, but I feel like it makes sense for his character. Hunter probably is gonna spend a decent amount of time in the main house though. I mean, like his little brother is in here and it is a legacy challenge. Like he needs to spend time with his family, whether or not they're stinky. I forgot that I named the baby Tristan because I was sad that he was a boy. <laughs> Had Tristan been a girl, I might have just like forgot about Hunter entirely and uh, made the girl a uh, heir. Actually, no, that's a lie. I probably would have kept... I, I like Hunter. I, I probably would have kept him as heir and had a double heir situation going on, you know? Imagine the most primal like surprised reaction you have ever heard in your life uh that's what i was experiencing here but listening back to it i was incredibly embarrassed by how i sounded so you're just getting this little description of the event instead you're welcome that was a genuine reaction what is happening i, I didn't even hear the music hello genuinely what is going on what I heard absolutely no music, and supposedly Mary is dying. Like, Mary has no reason to be dying. I gotta take some screenshots just in case I want to use this as a thumbnail moment. I probably do. Um, but, uh, I feel like Eric would attempt to, uh, save his girlfriend. Get up, please. What? What? Wait, what? What? Hello? Hello? <laughs> um, so he did not have time to save her. Uh, I did not expect Mary to die before Eric. That is absolutely insane. I don't even know what happened. I need time to process this. Uh, uh, okay. Um, for now, we'll move her grave outside. I, I don't know if I'm gonna make a graveyard, like, on the lot or, like, off the lot. Um, I, I don't even know where to put it. I, I wasn't emotionally prepared for this. Having a grave in your, like, front yard wouldn't make sense, but I feel like it would look better, like, than just having it out here but it, <laughs> I'll, I'll just give her a tree like she can have a nice little tree next to her grave that, that's nice um okay <laughs> I genuinely don't know what happened um 
Here lies Mary Maselli. I'm so sorry, Mary. Like, I was just busy setting up the introduction to this video. I I didn't think you were dying. Um, Rest in peace. <laughs> Eric set up a tree for his uh, late girlfriend. And, and Johnson's over here like, how did this tree get in my yard? I, I'm not, I don't want this tree in my yard. He didn't look impressed to me. Hunter did not like the tree either. I, I I like how someone just died in your house and you're like, your immediate reaction is to just insult the tree placed in her honor. Anyway, before that little incident happened, I was trying to get things set up so Hunter could go to the store and get rid of whatever this fit is like he he needs new clothes so uh we're gonna send him to the store and hopefully nobody else dies in the process i'm gonna let him take the car that's kind of fun um okay let's go somewhere by ourselves i i'm still trying to process the fact that mary is dead like out of all the sims in this household to die she probably would have been like my last to guess like uh, I could see Hunter get into a situation where he died before I could see Mary get into a situation where she died. But she died. Like, and, and we're just gonna have to accept that now. But anyway, we are at Cold Issue Clothing. And we are gonna go look for a new outfit. I mean, he could literally, like, wear the same thing he did in university. Or maybe, like, a variation of what he wore in university would be fun. You know, it's his brand. The whole, like, hoodie vest combo thing. Maybe that's his brand. I, I think at one point I, I was like, yeah, Hawaiian shirts are going to be his brand. And then, oh, no, maybe that was Finley. One of the boys I was like, yeah, I think it would be funny if Hawaiian shirts were, like, his thing and he just wore them all the time. And then I forgot about it. Um, oh, well. Maybe, maybe this uh, kind of outfit is... Hunter's brand. Buddy, your girlfriend just died and now you're giving your wife hard eyes. Honestly, the house is kind of a mess. Uh, I'm kind of thinking they have enough money to justify hiring a maid. You know, they, they've been through a lot recently. Um, I think they deserve a maid. Did I already get a maid? I, I guess they already have a maid. Well, the maid isn't doing a good job, actually. Um, maybe, maybe we'll have to fire the maid. I'm trying to get Eric to increase his logic skill points because he needs he needs three more logic skill points to be eligible for a promotion and I do kind of want him to be able to reach captain hero status before he dies so we're, we're trying okay I decided to send Hunter on a date with Elle um at the F Red's 50s diner now I'm not sure why she is still in her graduation robe they are immediately, like, autonomously walking into the photo booth. So I, I love that for them, I guess. And they're woohooing. Um, they're getting straight down to business. I, I didn't even tell them to do that. But yeah, L is one of his uh, university relationships. I, I guess she wore the graduation cap to kind of, like, emphasize that. I don't know. But maybe I just don't understand uh, the psychology behind this dating tactic uh maybe it's maybe it's a mating thing I, I don't know they are like super into each other though and the thing is they are both romance sims so i think they're really good together i asked i wanted eric to be able to woohoo um l in in the car but she just kind of got into the middle seat which is kind of awkward and and now they're just talking about university um maybe they don't they don't want to go for round two i guess e eric's wants panel says otherwise but um clearly uh l is not in the mood so we'll, we'll respect that so it's the youngest baby of generation one's birthday and i'm actually so sad he won't know his mother like i can't believe that happened I'm curious to see how he'll turn out, like, what he looks like as a toddler, but I'm, like, so sad about Mary. And here is baby Tristan. Um, he doesn't look as much like Eric as the other kids, but, like, you can definitely see Eric in him. Like, Eric's genes are strong. Um, I'm curious to see how he looks when he grows up, though. He's, like, really cute. 
I love the little red hair moment. Like, he, he definitely has, like, his mother's hair and skin tone. Um, Mary's legacy is being carried on here, but I'm so sad she's dead. Eric then immediately left Tristan in the bathroom in the nanny is here, just, like, reading the newspaper and taking a shit, presumably, while the baby plays in toilet water. So, um, love that. And she is not washing her hands and immediately going towards the baby. Um, okay. Love that so much. Sir? Hello? Okay. okay at least there, there's something involving two people happening right now. I, I thought it was just kind of like a self woohoo situation. Um, not that there's anything wrong with that. It's just that I, I didn't think it could happen in my Sims game. So Hunter's finally going to get a job. It's been a couple of days and the career finally unlocked on the computer. So we're going to take the job. And since he had a university education, he starts off as a minor leaguer. Um, so he's basically already on his way to becoming a, a superstar, all-star, whatever it's called on this game. Joy wants to get a kitten or puppy. I, I don't even know if there's any kittens or puppies to adopt. But, like, I am down to have a pet, honestly. Just don't know what kind of mods I have in place that... Okay. That is definitely not a puppy. And that is not a kitten. I kind of like the idea of having a pet, though. And I I'm kind of, like, in love with Otis. I think that's a cute name for a cat. And I, I like orange cats. So we're going to get a cat named Otis. Why not? She, she did not discuss this with the rest of the family. But I don't think that matters. That's fine. See, I'm in love with him. Like, he's adorable. Um, He has a little smug look about him. And I think that is fantastic. I'm actually in love with him. Like, look at this cat. Uh, this, was, this was a good decision. Like, he's adorable. Here's the police officer who is bringing him to us. Uh, I, I, I appreciate the fact that she's in her uniform. But um, she has a wedding to attend, which is her own, in a couple hours. So, uh... She has her hair up, and I love that for her. We love working women. Th this is what this is what we strive to do, honestly. Yeah, this was a good decision. I, I feel like pets just add a lot of personality to any household. And we have a protector, too, hissing at walk-bys, so... The house is incredibly safe. I actually haven't played with, like, pets in a long time in this game, and I'm gonna have a good time here, I think. I kind of forgot how pets behave. But anyway, since we have a cat now, we probably should go ahead and get a litter box along with a bowl for their food. I'll give them the more modern uh, bowl. It kind of, like, matches with the trash can. Um love that oh and we should probably get toys I, f I forget that animals need entertainment sometimes honestly in in video games so otis can have this little scratching post maybe and i kind of want to give him like this like cat tower maybe where, where should i put the cat tower i, I kind of think it'd be fun to have it like near the window honestly like that and, and then I can just kind of squeeze in a chair here. I mean, it's a little cramped, but sometimes you got to make sacrifices for your cat. I'm hoping Otis can still use this. I'm not sure. We're, we'll have to watch and see if he goes on it. Okay, a lot's happening. Um, Eric's trying to order groceries because there's no food in the house. And Hunter just got promoted. He is now a rookie in the pro league. So, good for him. Um... We still need food in the house, though. 674 simoleons for food. I mean, we're pretty rich at this point. Like, we're, like, comfortably middle class. So we can we can afford the groceries. It's just I don't want my sim to starve to death. So hopefully they get here soon. But yeah, here is Hunter. He brought over his teammate in their suit matching uh, track suits. So... They, they can get to know each other a little bit. Hunter needs some friends that are not his brothers or, like, potential love interests. I'm always, like, so bad at maintaining social lives with my sims. Um, I'm gonna try to get better at that. 
You gotta, like, not yawn at what a potential friend is saying, though. Like, you, you gotta act, like, semi-interested. The cat just absolutely destroyed my trash can. But I'm, like, too concerned about my sims potentially dying of uh, starvation to care right now. I'm, I'm just gonna make sure everyone gets fed. But don't worry, I bought another matching trash can uh, for our lovely pet food bowl. So, we're good. I had Hunter invite Elle over and she is still rocking the graduation cap. Honestly though, I kind of want to get her out of it. And I know just the way to do that. Yay! Good <laughs> 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 diva. They're actually so cute together. Like I've said it before, but they're both romance sims, and I love the like romance sim, ex romance sim dynamic. I, I think it's. Chaotic, but I think it's fun. I, I I love romance sims together. And now Hunter wants to go for round two with Elle in the family car. And am I supposed to say no? Because I don't want to say no. This is definitely an appropriate thing to do in your family's shared vehicle. Um, who's that? Is that the social worker? Hello. No, okay, that's not the social worker. Oh, that is that. What is that? Oh, that's just a nanny going home. We're 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 literally fine. I'm I'm a little um. I'm a little scared of social workers in this game because if you if you didn't watch the earlier episodes, Hunter and his siblings were actually taken away by the social worker at one point, and we had to invite over our parents lovers to adopt them back into the family it was a whole thing but maybe that's my sign to actually take care of tristan here because i've kind of been neglecting him um i'm gonna get joy to give him a bath my sim is literally being impaled by the store but she is making sure that baby gets bathed that's how dedicated i am to childcare. Now, as a romance sim, I don't really think that um, Hunter is really thinking about getting engaged this young. However, I think he is gonna ask Elle to move into the house, uh, move into his garage. Um, feel like that'll be fun. Well, we need to get this legacy moving. Like, we need. Oh, she's trying to leave. I'm trying to have a moment. It is 3 a.m. Um, so maybe, maybe I'll ask her tomorrow. But but that's a goal I want to uh, accomplish soon. During the warm-ups, Hunter notices that one of the starting players has forgotten her knee brace on the practice field. Without the brace, the first stringer will surely re-injure herself. As a bench warmer, Hunter could make a good impression by returning the brace to her, or he could hide the brace since he'd be next in line for her position. Uh, where she could be sidelined with an injury. Return the brace. What? Hunter picks up the specialized knee brace and heads over to find its owner. But almost immediately, the starting player returns from her prescribed brace-free stretching routine to retrieve it. Unable to find it, she notifies the team's management, who immediately begin a search. The brace is found in Hunter's locker, who had only placed it there for safekeeping until it could be returned. But Hunter has fined 1,000 simoleons for his questionable behavior. The, this could have been, like, prevented had Hunter effectively communicated what was going on. Um, he should have done that. But despite his, like, rough day, he got promoted to starter. So, apparently you just gotta steal your teammates' knee braces more often, and you will get promoted either way. So, I finally had Hunter ask Elle to move in with him, and the reason why she was still in her graduation robe was because she was still still classified as a student but now she isn't and she is officially a member of our household um she is in a very questionable outfit that we're gonna have to change but i am excited to begin this new chapter of their lives
So I gave Ella a little bit of a makeover. Here she is. Um, I didn't change her hair because I really like her hair, so I was definitely not going to change that, but I think she is a really pretty sim, and I'm excited to see how her and Hunter's lives fold out. Um, okay, wait a second. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to come up with, like, an outro for this video, and now Eric is suddenly, like, in the bathroom with a co-worker of Johnson's that he brought home, giving her hard eyes, and, like, she, she does not seem like she is disturbed by this. Like, this is a face of a woman that is into whatever is happening right now. Um, I, I feel like we need to explore this a little further. Uh, we can flirt with her. Okay, she came to her senses and being literally cornered in the bathroom by, like, a strange man isn't something that particularly uh, excites her. So, I, I don't think anything's going to develop from that. Like, she thinks he's a cockroach. But anyway, we are going to end the episode here. If you guys liked it, please give it a like. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye, guys.